like a cartoon character. I'm just trying to get it not to pop open. He <laughs> didn't like tea. Looks like he has bell bottoms. I would. So, the second most common question that I get asked by non surfers is Do you pee in your wetsuit? The easy answer is yes, I pee in my wetsuit. The other side of it is that people are either A, uncomfortable, B, lying, or C, severely dehydrated. And of course, you know, the most common question that surfers get from non-surfers is about sharks. It's always about sharks. So I've always noticed that every time I go out into cold water and I'm in my wetsuit, I end up peeing more. And when you're in your wetsuit, you prefer to pee less just because it stays in your wetsuit. It's gonna smell a little bit more, but on the plus side, it is gonna make you warmer. Um, so I wanted to go into a video on why this is. Why do I pee more in cold water? The straight answer is it's called cold water diuresis. I'm gonna discuss with you why this happens and yeah. So there's several causes for increased urination that are emergencies. I'm not here to talk about these, but some of these are diabetes. Diabetes. Also spinal cord injuries, brain tumors, any sort of damage to nervous system and urinary tract infections among others. We're not here to talk about this. I'm here to talk about cold water diuresis and why this exists and the pathophysiology behind it. Stop, let's start out with what diuresis means. So to understand this, we need to start with the kidneys. So the kidneys main function in the body is to control balance of water, salts and minerals and all the electrolytes in your body. That's the kidney's main function. So diuresis means that your body and your kidneys are producing out more urine than normal. So a classic diuretic is caffeine. Most people have this and when they notice that they have their morning coffee, even though they might not be fully hydrated, they're putting out more urine and having to go to the bathroom, a lot more. The average adult human puts out approximately three cups all the way up to three quarts of urine a day. So what does this have to do with cold water? So in the early 1900s, people noticed that they had to urinate a lot more when they were in cold water. Their first postulation that was, when you do exercise out in the regular air and heat, you end up sweating. So they thought that when you're in cold water and you exercise, you're gonna get some sweat, but you're gonna pee it out. So this is grossly wrong and not the answer. Current understanding of why cold water diuresis occurs is two mechanisms, one hydrostatic and two water temperature. So one of the first things you might notice once you get into the water is that your hands and feet get pretty cold. This is because the body is vasoconstricting a lot of the arteries and veins going to these peripheral limbs. In effect, this keeps the center of your body a lot warmer. But because you're vasoconstricting all of these arteries and veins in the peripheral limbs, it means that you're gonna have a lot more blood in the body and it's more concentrated in the center. So in theory, your blood pressure should go up. They've done some studies that showed that the top number, the systolic number, didn't go up, but the diastolic number did. These numbers are both important for the blood pressure of your body and how it functions. And your kidneys are very well aware of this. So what your kidneys do in effect to this increase in blood volume and blood pressure is they produce more urine. So there's two main postulated reasons on why this happens. So you have some baroreceptors in your heart. You have four chambers in your heart. You have two atria and two ventricles. So the first place that the blood goes in is the right atria. And so when this blood pressure is gone up because you have less blood in the periphery and more in the central, that blood pressure is gonna go up and that atria is gonna get stretched out more. So that triggers that baroreceptor to go to the kidneys and say, we need to produce more urine, our blood pressure is too high. The second mechanism for how this happens is when it's really cold, your body's gonna produce less of antidiuretic hormone, AKA vasopressin. That's gonna trigger your body to urinate more as well. So the second postulated mechanism for why you have to pee more in cold water is hydrostatic pressure. This isn't specific for cold water, it would be for both warm, cold water, any sort of water. It would just be the direct pressure on your body from just being in water versus air. So if you just think of constricting anything, your blood pressure is gonna go up because there's more pressure on it. And because of that, those same stretch receptors are activated and you're gonna have to urinate more. It's gonna... In the 60s and 70s, they did a whole bunch of studies on hydrostatic pressure and whether it made people have to urinate more. 
and they determined that the whole body has to be in the water in order to exert pressure on everything rather than just one hand or one leg. Um, so this goes back to, I don't know if you guys remember when you were kids, the whole thing that if you put somebody's hand in warm water while you're at a slumber party, they pee themselves. I don't think that this is true. There might be some other association mentally about being in water or hearing water that might make you urinate but there's no studies that directly show that warm water, putting your hand in it, is gonna make you urinate while you sleep. Um, but you can still try it and see if it works. Uh, so another thing I've noticed is it's not always while I'm swimming in cold water or surfing in cold water that I have to urinate. A lot of times it's directly afterwards. And I didn't know why. So I went through some research to determine why this was. So the first thing that could be happening is you're not urinating in your wetsuit. That's not my case. I definitely pee in my wetsuit. I go for it because it's uncomfortable and I know it's gonna come out one way or the other. Another reason is that people find it difficult to urinate in water while they're swimming. So if you're actively swimming, moving, a lot of times people will have to stop to urinate and a lot of times they don't do this. So your autonomic nervous system has two main sides, sympathetic and parasympathetic. In simple terms, sympathetic is fight or flight. So if you have like a bear coming at you, what's gonna happen? Your eyes are gonna dilate so you can see better. Your body's gonna be ready and have blood available in all the limbs, so you're able to either fight or flight. Parasympathetic is exactly the opposite. You're in a calm situation. Your body's ready to rest and digest. So a lot of your blood is shunted towards the stomach to digest. So sympathetic nervous system regulates the process of urine storage in the bladder. So that would make sense for why when you're surfing, you're gonna have storage in your bladder, but you're not gonna urinate. Parasympathetic nervous system results in having to urinate. <gasps> So it'll control actually urinating. And this is another reason for why when you get out of the water, you shift from more of a sympathetic to a parasympathetic nervous system. And your body will just be like, yeah, I need to urinate now, let's go. And that's why you have to pee when you get out of the water, which is uncomfortable because ideally you wanna pee when you're in the water so that urine can flush out, but your body knows the exact opposite. So once you're out, you have to pee and then you're stuck with your pee pants. So what are things that you can do to prevent this or mitigate this? So there was a study done and it showed that people who did persistent activity, persistent activity in cold water had less of this. So if you're persistently out in the cold water surfing, the more you do this, the less this will happen to you. Secondly, keep hydrated before, after, make sure you have electrolytes, make sure you have water. Three, you could avoid diuretics like caffeine, that'll make you have to pee less. And four, just make sure you urinate in your wetsuit. Holding it in is gonna be painful. And there are some other side effects that could happen. Don't need to go into those, but just try not to hold your urine in and just urinate. It's fun, it's free, and you get to be warm. Apparently this region of Spain isn't into urinating in the water as they've made new rules saying that physiological evacuations in the sea or on the beach will be considered an infraction of health or hygiene laws for anyone caught in the act. I don't know how they're gonna catch you, but it'll be interesting.